chickens, welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'm doing a makeup tutorial. I really wanted to do something inspired by this photo that I found on Instagram. It's like a beautiful sunset eyeshadow look and I just saw it and I was like, oh that is so nice. I'm going to try my best to recreate it. So the girl that did this makeup is Stephanie Makeup XO on Instagram, so I'll leave her down below. Okay, so I just found the best eyeshadow palette to create this look. So it is the Morphe 35B palette. It is so colorful. I love Morphe eyeshadows. They're very pigmented, easy to work with. So I feel like this is going to be a great look. So firstly, I'm going to take this bright yellow shade right here, and I'm just going to lightly dust this above my crease so all the other colors can kind of like blend up into that one. I'm just taking that on my MAC 224 brush. It feels so weird to be putting like a yellow down <laughs> on my crease. So I'm just very softly blending that from side to side. Oh my God, this is blending out perfectly. The next color I'm taking is this orange right here and this is going a little bit underneath that yellow. We're making a sunset doll. I'm just taking this on a smaller blending brush just because I want that yellow to still be peeking through. I don't want it to go up too high. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take that yellow shade and blend out the edges of the orange just so it's all very seamless. Then with that same brush, I'm just gonna pick up this red color and that's going directly in the crease. So again, underneath the orange and the yellow. So again, just blending in windshield wiper motions. And then for my lid color, I'm gonna pick up this one right here, which is a really pretty deep, violet color oh it's so gorgeous i'm so excited to see what this looks like on the lid because i've never worn anything like this before so i just have a really small flat shader brush I'm just gonna pack her on now i'm just gonna take that ready shade again and i'm gonna use this to blend out that purple just so it's nice and soft now it's time to move on to the skin so i'm gonna take this sephora luminizing booster and i'm just gonna pop this on the outside of my face so the skin can be nice and glowy. I've never actually used this before, so I don't really know what to expect, but uh, we'll see. <gasps> oh my God, no. That just went all through my brow. It's so watery. Okay, I'm gonna blend it out. I don't really feel like that added too much of a glow, but I guess we'll see when the foundation goes on top. And to prime my face, I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Do you guys remember when everyone used to use this? Mmm, it feels so refreshing on the skin. Now it's time for the foundation. So I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation. I just started using this the other day and I was like, oh my God, where has this been my whole life? It just stays on for like the whole entire day. It does not budge at all, so just gonna put a little bit on my brush, actually a big bit, and then I'm going to blend it into my skin. It has really good coverage and I love this uh, color as well. I'm in the shade 24 Golden Beige. I bought this when I was in LA with Chloe and it's just been sitting in my cupboard ever since. So I was like, I'm just gonna give this a try and oh my God, I'm obsessed with it. I'm just gonna blend it in with my beauty blender because it is quite thick. There was like little lines left on my face from the brush. I'm just gonna soak up that. I'm gonna do my forehead with a little paddle brush. This way I can go around, oh my God, it's nearly empty. I've literally only used it a few times. What is happening? And then for concealer, I'm taking my Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour waterproof concealer in the shade light medium. I used to use this all the time. I love it so much. I'm going to really highlight underneath my eyes. My face is a little bit of a different color to my neck, but we're going to make this work guys. I'm just taking the lighter shade of the same concealer to make sure it's nice and bright. And then I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender. It literally took me a whole day to sort out my makeup room. I have so much makeup, it's a joke. I only ever realize when I'm like going through it. Otherwise, I just use like the same stuff. I'm really making sure that my under eye is fully concealed because um, the colors that we have on my lid may make the eye look like it's been punched and bruised. So making sure all those orangey, purpley, Blue tones are gone. To set that concealer down, I'm taking my Airspun Loose Face Powder. Michael literally gave this to me like six months ago and there was hardly anything left, but I'm still using it. Like this stuff lasts so long. I guess because the container is so big. I'm just gonna 
put a tiny bit on under my eyes to make sure the concealer doesn't crease at all. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna take this Chanel powder. I actually bought this for my $2,000 makeup tutorial and I forgot about it, but this one was like $100. So I really wanna see how it goes on my skin. How do you open this? Oh, <laughs> here we go. So this is what the powder looks like. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but we can make it work. Um, I hate how it has like half of the packaging just a powder puff, because like seriously, who uses those anyway? Brushes are just so much easier. But I guess if you're like going out, you could take the powder puff and fix your face. I'm not hating, okay? So I'm just gonna pack this on. It's making my foundation go so patchy. What the hell? I literally have no luck with powders at all. Like I just love my Astralis one, like seriously. Oh. I'm gonna push my brows upwards and to do that, I'm taking the 3D Brow Stones by a Benefit. I just got a package from them yesterday. Oh, I have hair in my mouth, like what do you mean? So I'm really excited to try this out. I love pushing my brows up. I feel like they look so much more natural and fluffy. So up they go, Del. I really like the applicator on this. Separating all of my little brow hair, so cute. I'm just starting with that red crease color and putting that on my lash line from outer corner to inner corner, just so we can really proportion out what's happening on the eyes. And then I'm gonna take the orange and blend that just under it. Now I'm gonna take this eyeliner from ColourPop and it is in the shade Boots. It's this really pretty pinky purple. It's quite similar to the lid color. So I'm gonna put this on my waterline I love when they like wind up so then you don't have to sharpen them. Oh, saves my life. I always hate doing this part. Ugh, so uncomfortable. Oh my God, my face is literally yellow and my neck is like a brownie color. We need some bronzer on that ASAP. So for my lashes, I'm gonna take the Benefit a Roller Lash and I'm gonna coat my top and bottom lashes so they'll be nice and ready for my falsies. Now it's time for the lashes. I'm taking these Empire Lashes in the shade Queen of Hearts. I wore these in my last video and they're really pretty, so we need to pop these on now. Now for the contour, I'm taking the Pixie by Petra Natural Contouring Powder. So this one is literally, oh my God, people were getting so mad that I said that in my last video so much, but this one is very um, cool tone, so hopefully that works. Anyways, back to the literally thing, like, Sometimes words just really stick to you and you can't stop saying it. Like, that's just my life. I'm just gonna take whatever's left down the sides of my nose. I just started doing it and it looks so good. It just like adds more shape to my nose because it just, my nose can get a bit lost in my face sometimes. <laughs> and then for the bronzer, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Tantric Omega Bronze. So um, I need this because it's like a brownie shade and I really need brown to match here, if you know what I mean. So I just got this new brush from Morphe. It is the M527. Their brushes are literally so soft. I love them so much. I'm just gonna start by doing my jawbone so we can blend that harsh line. And then I'm gonna take some on my cheekbones. I'm gonna have to do a bit of baking actually. And also around my hairline so we can even out all of this bronziness. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the gold deposit on a smaller brush just cause I wanna add a little bit of shimmer to my cheeks. I love glowy cheeks so much. I think I've said this before, but I'm pretty sure this is actually a highlighter for deeper skin tones, but I really like it to add a glow to any matte bronzers. I'm gonna bake a little bit with my Air Spun powder just underneath my contour so we can clean it up. Oh my God, I really need to get another one of these powders. They're so good. It's really soft, so it doesn't make like a super harsh line, if you know what I mean. And then with my powder brush, I'm just gonna brush it away very lightly. See, as you can see, it like cleaned it up a tiny bit, but it doesn't leave any harsh lines. Now for my blush, I'm taking the MAC blush in the shade Romance. This is a very shimmery blush. I'm just gonna pop this on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back. I can honestly never have enough shimmer on my face. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for the highlighter, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna take the new Benefit highlighter, which looks so pretty. It's like a light pink fairy color. Oh, this is gonna be good. So I'm just gonna apply that with a fan brush. I'm gonna dust it in here. It doesn't look very like chunky. It just looks very like finely milled. Oh, yes. 
Oh my god, that's so pretty. I'm gonna put lots on and I did spray my brush with MAC Fix Plus. I always do that with my highlights. And also I'm just gonna put that on my nose. I really wanna go with like a nice pink ombre lip so we can kind of tie in with this whole colorful eye look. It might be too much, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna start by lining my lips with the Urban Decay Lip Liner in the shade Disobedient. Disobedient, king. Firstly, I'm gonna start with the Makeup Geek Cream Satin and I'm just going to put this all over my lips. Oh my God. Huh. This stuff literally dries so matte. There is no way this is ever going to transfer. So the next color I'm gonna take is a few shades lighter and I'm just gonna pop this in the middle so we can make a little bit of an ombre look. What's new? Lastly, I'm gonna set my face with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist. I want my face to be like extra glowy. So here we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys liked it. Oh my God, I just went and did my hair cause I was like trying to cover the color difference right here. It works really well by the way. Um, and I noticed that this stuff left so many dots all over my face and I'm just like, I thought this was expensive. Why is it doing that? No, thank you. I've used this for so long and I've never really noticed it, but the product is actually white. See down the bottom here? It's white. So, um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me that it does that anyway, but like, what's the point in even setting the face <sighs> if it leaves dots? Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you like this makeup tutorial because it helps me out so, so much. I'm so happy that I've moved. I'm feeling so motivated and inspired. So make sure you leave a comment down below of what makeup look or what video you want to see next because I love hearing what you guys want to see. So I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, my lovers. Mwah.